back on the lawn back on the lawn so this is the yeah. next step in hopefully trying to bring this lawn back so we have been through and we have killed all the weeds using some broadsword it's looking really good like yeah you uh, think it, it knocked out not as much as i thought but it knocked out what it needed to take out it right? sort of confirms that we've got quite a lot of grass here we, we thought do. it would do worse and that over in that section there which if you go back and Don't watch a few it. of the other videos then you'll see that actually a lot of that is quite dead yeah but a lot of this through here is actually pretty decent grass and so I have done a little test spot there of using this dethatcher. So this is the Ryan dethatcher. We've hired it. We haven't purchased or anything like that. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go through here and we're going to pull out all of the, the underlying dead grass, all the dead weeds and things like that. Yep. And hopefully that will sort of give us space to help this grass um, spread its wings and come back. Yeah, so if we go back a couple of steps, we obviously started with a fert application just to see what we were working with here. Um, and then we moved in some selective herbicides, so some weed treatment. I think you did a couple of um, couple of doses of the, uh, what's it called, broadsword? I did a pretty heavy yep. dose, and then I then came back a couple of weeks later and did a light. A uh, light application of it. Yep. And then the lawn was looking really good, really green. You've just brought the height of cut down. So you've mowed this, what, like three times over the last week? Yeah, I've brought it yeah. down, I don't know, I've got a Ryby lawnmower, I brought it down to a four. Okay, cool. So I didn't redo this section because it just sort of jams up because it is yeah. really thick through there. So well, it's interesting, now you've got the level down on the lawn, you can actually see that there's quite a few humps in it. So we're probably going to need to do a little bit of leveling, but that is coming up next, isn't it? So we're going to dethatch today, get all of the all of the thatch build up, get a really nice clean surface. And then coming up, we've got overseed or caught aerating. Aerating, going to hire an aerator. Yep. Bring in some topsoil. Yeah, I'm going to overseed. Yep got a little bit of a starter fertilizer and then we're going to topsoil and flatten this out because there's a few spots where it doesn't you know sags and sort of rises and stuff so yep. we'll topsoil and we'll get it nice and level and then in the next couple of weeks we've got some rain coming so hopefully that helps me out during yeah, the season yeah. and we'll see what we come up with cool so what we'll do we'll uh, we'll have a look at how this machine operates and then i think we just get to it i think it's going to rain sometime soon we want to do this while it's dry because I think as soon as this ground gets wet, it's going to make a well, it's going to make mess, picking it? this up real terrible. Yeah, let's yeah. crack on. So this is the Ryan dethatch tool that I have hired. I know absolutely nothing about it. I've had a little play at the front. I had a little go there. Essentially, what you have here is underneath you've got some sort of claw type things, little prongs, and if you come and have a look under here. Those things spin around and basically just loosen all the stuff up underneath and bring it to the top. I've never used one of these before. I'm quite excited to do this, especially because you've got a lot of build up in here. Years, years I do. and years worth. Yeah. At the front is your height adjustment and I looked on a little video. They say that those prong things or those claws that we saw at the bottom should be resting roughly on top of your grass or sort of scraping over the top. You can adjust your height here. They give you a nice scale on the front there. And then you turn the, turn the tool on like you would the lawnmower. There's a choke, etc. This engages those prongs deep into the soil or deep into the grass. Safety break and away you go. So it's pretty simple. Let's fire it up, do a little bit of a test cut here and you can show me what height it cuts at based on the setting you've got it on because I think we need to work out whether we need to bring it lower or just power I don't know do how aggressive height. you go. So I did a little test spot and it pulled up quite a lot and it depends on, so this grass here is really quite thick whereas over there is quite thin. So if you've got a, I suppose an uneven spread of grass around here then you probably might have to not necessarily do a set and forget, but you're gonna to have to sort of adjust as you go. And so I went really quite light. I think I need to go slightly more aggressive, but we can we can walk work down here and we can pull a bit more out. And you'll see that actually this thick area here has probably got quite a lot of dead grass and, and stuff underneath and, and thatch that we need to really pull out. When we look at it, I mean, it's pulling out, yeah, it's pulling out a little bit of grass, but the majority of that, that's all dead, dead organic build up. I think you could probably go a little bit more aggressive because I look at the ground there. Well, you can see here, I don't know, so you can see that pit there where it's pulled it out. Can you see that? So if we just look at the square here, this is the square that we've pulled it all out. You can see that we still do have grass and roots and some runners there, but you can see where I've stopped, which is roughly about there. So it's done, I don't know, would it take over half of whatever was on top of there? Yeah, definitely. That, that takes a lot of that sponginess out of this grass as well. You know, if you were to stand there now. Feels like hard ground, and that's what I struggle with. When I come to mow up through here, this is a period where 
well this is the area here where I really struggled. The lawnmower does struggle to cut through this and that's because look how thick it is. So do you reckon we keep it like that? Maybe we just power through with it on this and maybe if we have any really high spots we come back to it and come we go back and over again. Go. Rather than go too aggressive. I know we're going to overseed but I mean that's taking a lot of material out. It's going to be fun to pick up. Look at that. And um, so you're going to have a go with the machine or one of us is going to be on the thatcher the other one's going to be behind the lawnmower and we've just got it on a reasonably high setting i don't have the mulching plug put in and i'm just going to pick up everything that i can with the lawnmower a couple of wool sacks and we'll just dump all that dead thatch into the what saves dragging out a rake right we've got yeah. rakes but if we can get away with not using them pick up with the lawnmower save a bit of time let's do it
So we've pulled out a decent amount of thatch. I mean, look, wall sack's pretty full. I mean, this isn't the world's biggest wall sack either, but far out. Well, there's still a lot more to pick up down the, uh, the end of the lawn there. So we did one pass of that initial height that we had kind of preset, and then we picked it up with the lawn mower just to see where things were. And there's definitely areas where we've done probably a little bit too much. There's areas where, mostly areas where we've done it really well, but over there we didn't get enough. So we just lowered it slightly more and um, got another couple of passes to pick up with the mower there. But initially, did you think it was quite scary doing this to see what, what we'd have? I oh, thought we'd a little bit. Out. I didn't know how much it would leave behind. And you've got a very, very bare lawn here, but it's taken away all of that sponge underfoot. Like walking on this lawn now, it's, um, it's quite solid. You can feel solid. so solid underfoot, Yeah, hey? I mean, because this is what we pulled out, right? This is all that sponge that we've been walking on. Feel that. And the majority of that, yeah, we pulled out some grass. There's a few runners in there, but the majority of that is just dead, dead grass matter. So I'm pretty impressed at that machine. Like, I think the fact that it's so wide, we've gone through this lawn, we've probably done three passes now when you factor in some of the additional ones we've done. Down the end of the lawn there, we did that bit in crosshatch format as well. So we came across the other way and I found that pulled quite a bit out. Yeah, you're right, like we do have some beer patches here, but, but that's where we're gonna topsoil. oversee. That's where we're gonna oversee topsoil, aerate, the aerator will get um, some holes in the ground here so we can actually get seed deep into there. Yep. But you're right, along here it does sort of rip up some of these runners. Well it's really exaggerated. The grade of the lawn down to the drain right there as well. Like that's very, very visible now. I knew there was a grade there in the past, but wow, it's like really pulled that open. I guess a lot of that thatch is just collected around that area. And I think what I might do is do, when we finish picking up this area that you've just done, I think we need to go back with the mower just a little slightly lower and yep. just to pull up some more of that stuff, just well, to really to, get as much as we can out. To pull some of the, because um, you've got loose runners sitting on the top as well, so I think you do need to get a bit lower to do that. Um, you could probably mow this a couple of times over the next couple of days just to pick up anything that's residual on top. Get it nice but, and clean. Um, I thought initially it was quite scary to, to see what we'd pull out, but absolutely, I think anyone can do this. There's no real skill involved here. Just start off at a, at a reasonable, comfortable setting. You don't want to go too low, but just be a bit cautious there. See where you're at, give it a, a mow and pick up what you've got, and then you can go again, and then you can really fine tune how much you want to pull out. But um, this is super easy. It didn't take too long either. You know, what have we got? We've got roughly a bit over 200 square meters of lawn here, and it's taken us, what, a couple of hours? Oh yeah, if that. I mean, what's the time? We're seven o'clock? No, we're, we're an hour and a half in. Okay. And I reckon we have another 10 minutes, 15 minutes here picking some stuff up. Yeah. But that pretty much concludes this part of the... Uh, part of the video. This part of the video, doesn't it? We'll come back to you right at the end and just show you what the finished product is once we've brought this height of cut down a couple of times. And um, what's the bet? You reckon we'll fill that bag onto the next one or we might get away with just the one bag in the bin? We might just get away with one bag. Okay. Let's see. All right, so that pretty much caps off this um, this video here. So we've gone through and we've dethatched the lawn, and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. It has pulled up a lot of dead material at the bottom of the of the grass here, and um, I'm really happy. I have you enjoyed it? What do you reckon? Yeah, a lot easier than I thought. Yeah, um, especially in the pickup process. I knew pushing the machine around would be easy, but I think using the uh, the lawnmower on the highest setting and then we brought it down a couple of notches as well and went over again so and we gee. just pick, picked it all up and um there's still a little bit left in underneath here but um when we come through an aerator in the next couple of days i'm sure that'll just push whatever's there deep down and um, we'll have these little little pills of, of dirt and stuff that will come out so so far really happy and um there is bits of runners through here that you can see that um are probably still on the surface but we'll push those down when we when we air it and look behind you here. So we've got two or one and a half wool sacks of all that grass matter that we've pulled up. So we'll take this to the, the green waste in the next couple of days and get rid of that. But um, far out, I'd recommend actually getting a couple of these wool sacks just to put all that dead thatch into there. Because if you're trying to pick it up and put it into a compost bin, you'll pull out way too much. Yeah, look at that. Really happy with the results, and I can't believe we've actually pulled out so much material from the lawn. So, and it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks dry, but I haven't got dirt. You know, there's a couple of areas here, but it's not like we've pulled it right the way back there. We've got bare with no grass, you know, ripped it all out. We've still got quite a lot of grass on top here. So, no, I'm really happy. It looks really good. Okay, so that was a really easy process dethatching this lawn. We've got 200 square meters roughly. I haven't calculated it out, but it didn't take very long. A couple of hours, a couple of passes of the lawnmower, picked it all up. And um, so stay tuned for the next video because that's where we're going to aerate the lawn. And um, I reckon I'm, I'm really excited about that. I've never done that either. So uh, no, is, nor have I. I've done all the new. chemicals, done the ferts, done the herbicides, the insecticides. Never done a dethatch 
or um, call air rate. Part of the lawn renovation, right? I've done the upkeep, not a full reno. And um, the weather's held up beautifully for us today. So yeah, it's been quite it windy. And has, I think um, rain's due to come, but if we can get another couple of days of decent weather, you'll have this lawn all sorted and all ready for summer. Yep, so stay tuned for that um, that coring video and then in the next video after that we're going to um, lay some fresh seed down and then we're going to smooth it over, top it off with some topsoil. So if you're interested in this type of content, subscribe to the channel because there's plenty more to come. Give us a thumbs up and write any comments about what we did right, what we did wrong and um, give us some tips for next time. But that's it from Omni Garage, thanks for watching.